All right, we're on hole number five. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook. This is in the Tropic Kings Tournament, and we're in Monday's practice round in the Rookie Division on hole number five. So hole number five here, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to wait until I get out there. I, I'm either going to use a QB or an extra mile. It's not really going to, it really, it doesn't matter. You can use any driver you want here. And you can use any ball you want. It, this is a pure layup shot trying to get out of here, trying to keep these trees out of play. So when you're drawing the line to the hole, the deal is, is if you're out in this area too far, the trees really don't affect you getting on the green, but what it does affect you is your setup. So when you try and hit the, when you try and line your shot up, the trees are going to block your ball guide and you're going to have to kind of do the shot blind. So it is better to lay up just a little out here. You don't have to get a lot of distance on this, not on the drive. If you've got lesser developed clubs, the drive shot is not the problem. The problem is trying to get onto the green. So I play this hole a lot with my Guardian. I've played this hole a lot with my Guardian, especially from the second tees. And it really isn't going to make any difference out here. You're going to end up in pretty much the same area, whether you're hitting for the first, second, or third tees. You've got plenty of room out here. If you're hitting from the second and third tees, you're probably going to have to bring an extra mile or you know, a big apocalypse if you're hitting from the back tees. But the second shot is pretty much exactly the same, regardless of what division you're playing in. But the key is is to get is to stay out here so that the trees don't block your ball guide, so it makes it easier for you to set up that second shot. I have hit this tons and tons of times, and I'm very comfortable on this hole with my guardian, even though you got limited ball guide. The thing about it is is that here's how the green works. You're coming up this right here, so you're going uphill. Then you get under this flat area at the top of the green, and then it drops off and goes downhill. And so your ball guide isn't going to, you're not going to be able to get your ball guide to maneuver through all that stuff to get you so that you can really kind of take a look at the hole. You will have a little bit better shot with your, with your sniper. And you don't have to put on this second shot, you know, it doesn't take a lot if you've got some better developed clubs to get up there. But if you've got lesser developed clubs, you're going to want to bring, you're probably going to have to put... A little bit of overpower on it and in the past I've shot this with my Guardian what I normally do is I, I set my shot up here I want to give myself two to three rings of distance between the rough and the fairway so when you're down in this spot don't pinch yourself up against this this transition give yourself two to three rings and come out and then normally what I do is I take the wind out and normally in tournaments we're gonna to have some kind of wind going in this direction so I'll usually take the wind out and then I put I put a little bit of overpower on it in order to get it to come up to the green. The reason I do that and I don't just let the wind do the work for me is because the wind's a variable. One time you come to the hole and you got 3.2. Next time you come to the hole you got 4.0. And the next time, and so every time you're at a different number, if you're just letting the wind do the, you know, push you forward, your in spot down here is gonna gonna change. So I usually like to take the wind out and then put a little bit of overpower on it to get myself back up on the green and it is going to be scary when you see your ball come up on the green because it's going to look like it wants to fly a million miles and what it does is it hits this flat area and then as it's rolling down the hill it slows down quite a bit you would think and, and in real golf there's holes that you'll get on where the greenskeeper will cut the cut the green so that you're actually going against the grain and it almost feels like that's what's going on in this hole like you come into it and you're going a thousand miles an hour and, all, and it slows down so if you're up here at the top you do not you do not want to be short on this green up here at the top it's better if you short shoot it to be off the green or on the fringe chipping it into the hole as opposed to being on the green if you just dribble onto the green up here at the top, you cannot make that putt. It's an overpowered putt. This is an old hole. It's been in the game since the very beginning, and so there's a lot of the holes in the very beginning where you couldn't make putts, and this is one of those holes. So you do not want to short shoot it. It's either better to be long or short, but not up here at the top of this green. So let's go take a look at this hole. I'm going to use a sniper. Um, just because of the ball guide, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out with a sniper. I I'm super comfortable doing this hole with my guardian, but I am gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out with a sniper. So I'm gonna switch 
I'm going to take two bags, one with a sniper and an extra mile, one with a sniper and a, and a quarterback, just so that I can see which one I like better. Now, having a little bit of curl, especially for the second shot, is not a bad deal. So at a minimum, I would probably take a katana. And if you were in that range, you know it's Quasar Katana Kingmaker. I'm going to take a Titan just because I have tons of them. And we'll see what that, how that looks. If I don't like that look, then we'll, we'll have to switch to either drop down to a two power ball and take a katana or we'll have to switch over to a kingmaker. This is not, and I repeat, not a high percentage albatross hole. You don't have a really good look at it, but what you can do is give yourself a consistent shot at it. And I have hit Albi on this hole quite a few times. And it is doable. One of the, this was hole number nine in, a, in another tournament. And the difference between being at the top and not being at the top was getting Albi on this hole. And I almost Albied it in that tournament. And it, it is possible. So our opponent's got some forward run there up there. They should have a very nice clean shot out here. The trees aren't gonna aren't gonna come into play. Let's see where we're at with our QB. QB's fine. We don't need to put all the topspin on it. We don't need to get all the way out there. Okay, so I'm gonna I got my white ring up on the the transition wedged in. 3.4 rings. So this is about a three and a half ring pull. And then I'm gonna put some curl on it. In order to get it to ride along that rough. And I don't have to put all of the curl on it. That was about half curl, and I'm trying to just ride along that rough right there and get my distance. And I definitely want to be out in the middle. That way, the trees aren't going to block my ball guide. And my opponent got some really good distance. You can see right there, if you're too far out here, you can see what I'm talking about. It's not that the trees, you, this hole lends itself to putting on right hand, everything right hand, and you can work your way around those trees really, really easy. Now, my opponent's far enough forward that they are getting a really good look with their ball guide there. That would be worth exploring trying to get a little bit farther forward because if we can get if we can hit that get far enough forward that we can see down that little hill we could work ourselves pretty close to the hole and try and increase our odds of getting an albi on this where i'm at i'm a little bit farther back i'm not going to get as good a read as our opponent did i like to be about three rings off Put on two top spin. Two point seven. And it would have been nice to have a three curl ball here. So this might be a kingmaker. Or excuse me, a three side spin ball. And I'm gonna just hit it. I'm gonna put a little bit of curl on it. Hitting it perfect. Not doing any overpower or anything. Let's see what kind of roll. See if the ball guy was lying to me. And it was lying just a little. You can see where it starts to drop down that hill. And that was with two top spins, so probably three, three and a half would have been better. So I'm going to make a note here. Three to four top spin. One ball of right hand curl. These USA balls, these came out during the World Cup, and this is a two wind, three side spin, three power ball. Hole number nine in this tournament, this, this hole actually works, that ball works really well on hole number nine in this tournament. Because you need a three power ball, but you also need one that's got three side spin. 
and getting the wind to work for you is not a bad deal. Oh, what was I thinking shooting that shot? I remember I'm not trying to qualify today. <laughs> albatross eaters and I'm not going to practice this hole there is one of the par threes though that I do want to practice because I need to get the uh, I want to dial the numbers in on it as far as the wind adjustment but that is not it I'm trying to practice hole number four all right that was hole number five of the Tropic Kings tournament and Monday's practice round in the rookie division thanks for watching